plot twists. You either love them, hate them, or pretend you saw them coming all along. There are a number of movie twists that take us by surprise, but that doesn't mean the filmmakers didn't give us some clues along the way. So in this video, we thought we'd take a look at some plot twist hints that you likely missed the first time around, and how they were hiding literally in plain sight. Let's take a look. Oh, and spoiler warning, there will be some massive movie spoilers in this video, so make sure you check the chapter so you don't have a movie's twist ruined for you. All right. I swear. Good. All right, let's start off with the most recent movie on this list with Netflix's Red Notice. And the fact that, I'm gonna give you a second to skip here just in case you haven't seen it, The Rock's John Hardley is actually in cahoots with Gal Gadot's The Bishop. Do people still say cahoots? It's a fun word. Anyway, as Reynolds' character, Nolan Booth, goes over the clues laid out in front of them that the two were actually working together, he remembers instances of Hartley saying, I'm the bad guy, and you don't know me earlier on in the movie. But there are also other clues the movie lays out before us, such as the codename Bishop itself, as there are two bishops on a chessboard. Well, four in total, but you know what I mean. Hartley also never shows anyone his badge, Agent Doss had never heard of him before despite supposedly being a high-level agent, and as Hartley dances with the bishop, he asks her if she has a partner as he doubts that she could pull off the heists without one. On top of that, there's their flirtatious relationship, the fact that Hartley's father was a con man, and that there had been no romance in the movie up to that point. Because, let's face it, you can't have a platonic relationship between a leading man and woman in a Hollywood movie, it's impossible! Remember the days when everyone was talking about Squid Game? Ah, that was a good two weeks, right? Like Red Notice, Squid Game is another massive hit on Netflix that foreshadowed the final twist, which in Squid Game's case was the fact that the seemingly kindly Oh Il Nam was actually secretly the architect behind the games. Now, I don't have time to go over all the foreshadowing in Squid Game, I mean we literally have multiple videos dedicated to it, but let's go through a couple, shall we? Firstly, his details are missing from the 2020 player's file. His body isn't highlighted during red light, green light. His name literally translates to number one man. The riot ended as soon as he told them to stop it. The neighborhood during the marble game looked just like his when he was growing up. We don't actually see him get killed on screen, and that's just naming a few. Also, all the major eliminations are foreshadowed in episode two, and all the games can be seen on the mural of the player's common room. Seriously, watching that show is like being in the games yourself. The whole thing is an easter egg hunt. Jordan Peele's Get Out is arguably one of the best horror movies in the last decade, and part of the reason for this is the movie's twist that Chris's girlfriend Rose and her family are part of a creepy and sadistic group who abduct black people and take possession of their bodies. For example, Rose's grandmother, who possesses the body of the housekeeper, Georgina. However, Georgina's real identity is actually foreshadowed with a clever piece of suggestive movie making. In an early scene, Rose's dad states that his mother loved the kitchen, saying, so we keep a piece of her in there, with the camera then revealing Georgina standing in the middle of the kitchen. This one is perhaps not quite a plot twist, but a plot point. But in Skyfall, the death of Judy Dench's M was actually foreshadowed during the iconic Bond title sequence. As the credits come on screen for Judy Dench as M, the camera zooms in on a tombstone, subtly hinting M's demise in the movie. If only Bond had ejected her in the DB5 like he threatened to, then the whole thing could have been avoided. Or not go all the way to Scotland alone to fight off an army of goons in a British version of Home Alone. You know, either one. Martin Scorsese does a similar technique in his movie The Departed, with all the characters who die during the film being shot next to an X, while The Godfather is the same thing with oranges. Now, it is literally impossible to do a video on foreshadowing in movies and not mention Fight Club. Literally, it's the only time where there is a rule in place to talk about Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. Now, for those who have seen the movie, you will know that the main plot twist is that Ed Norton's The Narrator and Brad Pitt's Tyler Durden are actually one and the same, with Durden being a figment of the narrator's imagination. While this was initially a big bombshell, there were actually multiple hints that Durden wasn't real. 
For example, Durden appears in rapid subliminal messages before his official introduction, and also shows up in a random commercial. Other clues include the moment Tyler calls the narrator at a phone box despite there not being an incoming call, the narrator climbs out of the driver's side of the car during the car crash despite it previously being shown that Tyler was driving, the two only pay for a single bus fare, and despite there being a few more, we will end on the fact that Tyler never sets off the car alarms during the scene where they decide to bang up some cars. While many consider the Dark Knight Rises twist to be one of the worst of all time, most agree that Nolan is one of the best when it comes to plot twists. Like Neil being inverted in Tenet and from the future, or the ghost in Interstellar actually being Murph's father Cooper, or that Leonard is Sammy Jenkins in Memento. But it's arguably the prestige that houses the biggest twist, with the reveal that Bale's character, Alfred, is actually a twin, with him and his brother Freddy pulling off the tricks together. Now, while movies have used similar twists, like Terminal, as in the Margot Robbie movie, not the Tom Hanks one, although that would have been a massive twist if there had been two twins stuck in an airport. Uh, what was I say? Oh yeah, while some movies have had similar twists and failed, the prestige sticks the landing. The twist was actually foreshadowed earlier on in the birdcage trick, which involves killing a bird and then using a second one to make it appear alive. However, a boy figures out the trick and asks about the brother, which hints at Alfred's real identity as a twin. If there is any twist that really knocked me off my feet, I guess I really shouldn't have been standing up in a movie theater, it's the one in Shutter Island that reveals that Leo DiCaprio's Teddy Daniels is actually Andrew Latis, and he is a patient at the institute that he is supposedly investigating. You know, there's more to the plot than that, but I don't have time to explain it. And besides, there's some foreshadowing we need to mention. In particular, the scenes that foreshadow that Daniels' partner, Chuck, is actually Dr. Sheehan, with Chuck struggling to remove his gun from the holster as they enter the hospital, and during the interview with Mrs. Kearns, where she alludes to the fact that Chuck is Dr. Sheehan through eye contact and suggestive dialogue. Also, if you keep an eye on the water glass during the scene, you'll notice it disappears, which isn't a continuity mistake, but a conscious choice to show that Daniels' view can't be trusted. Alright, now this one is a little bit of a cheat, because the hints at the twist are actually the twist itself. We're talking about the twist in Denis Villeneuve's arrival, and the fact that the scenes of Louise Banks and her daughter at the start of the movie aren't flashbacks, but like the 2009 TV series starring Joseph Fiennes, John Cho, and for some reason Seth MacFarlane, are actually flash-forwards. With Louise making the choice to have her daughter even though she knows she's gonna die. Also, anyone else kind of annoyed that we'll never get a resolution with Flash Forward, or is it just me? Yeah, eh, probably just me. Next on the list is one of my favorite movies, so I definitely wanted to take the chance to talk about it, and that is the Oscar-winning movie Parasite from the movie maestro Bong Joon-ho. The movie's main twist is that Moon Gwang's husband, Gyun Se, is secretly living in a bunker in the basement, with a sequence for this starting at the exact halfway mark. And the basement is the same place where Ki Take ends up living. But the twist of Gyeonse is actually hinted at early on, such as the lights going on when Dong Ik arrives home, his comment on how Moon Gwang eats enough for two, and Da Song's encounter with Ghost, which is of course Gyeonse, and his self-portrait, which is likely his rendering of said ghost. I'd like to talk about Parasite for longer, but seeing as I don't have eight hours, I'll probably save it for another time. Maybe another video, if anyone actually wants to watch it. What's in the box? What's in the box? Well, Tracy's head, as it turns out. David Fincher's crime thriller 7 is one of the best of all time, and the box scene is easily one of the most famous and most quotable moments in movie history. While it was a shock to many, except for me because my friend spoiled the ending as I was just about to watch it, thanks Brad, Fincher actually teases Tracy's grisly fate throughout the movie with her often being shot from the neck up, hinting at her decapitation, and the shots of Tracy's head take place right before discussing John Doe's next victim. Also, a little side note, Brad, if you're watching this, your wife's cheating on you. How's that for a spoiler, huh? Ha 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 ha! So, moving away from Seven and my friend Brad, who, by the way, just in case you were worried about him or were invested in his adulterous relationships, is completely fictional. <laughs> How's that for a plot twist? Now then, on to one of the best thriller movies of all time, Psycho. 
The Hitchcock movie, which was a massive inspiration for Parasite, has one of the biggest and most famous plot twists of all time. That Norman Bates's mother has actually been dead for months, and Norman preserved her body and dresses her up in clothes to go on killing sprees. The twist is actually hinted at early on, though, when he points to the taxidermy birds on his wall and states that his mother is as harmless as those stuffed birds because, you know, she's also stuffed. And finally, the Good Places twist is that the show is actually set in the bad place. There are a number of hints that they're actually in the bad place, but one of the best ones is Janet, responding to Jason asking her to visit him in the bad place, saying, It is literally impossible for me to do that, because she's already there. 